Good day and welcome to Football Navigator as we take a look at the most successful football coaches in South Africa. Before we do that, please make sure to like this video and share it to the rest of the soccer fans across the globe. Number 5 is Clive Barker, who was born in Deben, that is in KwaZulu-Natal. Barker became a professional football player in the 1960s, that is playing for Deben City and Deben United having made his debut at a tender age of only 17 years. He also had trials with Leicester City but a serious knee injury quickly ended his playing career. Now nicknamed the dog, he became the manage, a manager in the 1970s coaching numerous football clubs in South Africa including Deben City, Manning Rangers, Amazulu as well as Santos. Now during his coaching career at club level, he won two league championships and two league cups. He was one of the first white managers in South African football history. Now Baka took over as manager of the South African national team that is Bafana Bafana in 1994 after the team was reinstated after a ban due to apartheid. The coach took the national team to their only African Cup of Nations title in 1996 with a 2-0 victory over Tunisia. Now under his guidance, Bafana Bafana also qualified for their first ever FIFA World Cup that was going to be hosted in 1998 in France. However, Clive Baker quit his post as Bafana Bafana coach in December 1997 before the team could compete in the World Cup Finals. That was after a poor showing in the 1997 FIFA Confederations Cup. At number 4 is Gordon Ingersen. Gordon Ingersen is a record-breaking coach in South Africa having become the only man to win four titles with four different clubs in the PSL. The legendary coach first made a name for himself when he guided unfashionable coastal team Manning Rangers to their inaugural PSL title in 1996-1997 season. He followed this up in 2000-2001 season with another title, but this time at the helm of Soweto Giants Orlando Pirates. The coach proved his critics wrong the very next season while he guided Santos to another surprise PSL title in 2001-2002 season. The following year, Ingerson was on the move again and this time he moved to Ajax Cape Town where his stint at Ajax proved rather unsuccessful and he left the team at the end of the 2005-2006 season. He then replaced the Sundowns co-coach Miguel Gomondi and Neil Tovey. Igerson added to his record number of PSL titles leading Mamilodi Sundowns to a comfortable PSL win in 2007. Now after Mamilodi Sundowns, Gordon Ingerson took over as coach of Morocco Silos in November 2010. He took Silos to, to second place in the 2011-2012 season and he received the PSL Coach of the Season Award for the second time. At number 3 is current Bid Vest Vest Coach Gavin Hunt. Now before he started his coaching career, he started as a player himself playing at right back and spent most of his playing career at Hellenic. The tough tackling defender had to retire because of an Achilles tendon injury and went straight into coaching. Now his greatest success up to date comes at Supersport United where he won three consecutive PSL championships from 2007 up until 2010. 
the coach previously managed seven stars, black lepers as well as Morocco solos. Now some of his major accolades include being named the 2002 coach of the year that is when he was at the helm of black leopard in 2004 he won the absa cup with morocco silos in 2008 kevin hunt was again named the coach of the year with the super sport united that is having won the title the same year in 2009 Gavin Hunt was again voted the coach of the year still at Supersport United and he went on to beat West Vets where he won the MTN 8 in 2016 and the league title in 2017. Number 2 is Ted Dumitru. Ted Dumitru was a Romanian football manager who is best known for his time in South Africa. Dumitru was one of a few coaches who have led South Africa's big three clubs that is Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelodi Sundowns as well as Orlando Pirates. Now Ted Dumitru was brought to South African football by Kaiser Chiefs owner Kaiser Mutaung in 1985. Dumitru went on to become the most su successful coach in South African professional football. The veteran coach had an illustrious career during which he amassed 18 trophies with Kaiser Chiefs and Sundowns, that is including the back-to-back -back league championships with each side. Now in 1985, Dumitri joined South African side Kaiser Chiefs and won eight trophies with them during his three-year tenure with the Glamour Boys. After leaving the club, he worked in, develop me in developing youth players and locally based coaches across the country. In 1992, he established the Shibuku Youth Center in Soweto which was the first development program in the country. He was later responsible for the establishment of the SLN Park School of Excellence that has produced players such as Steven Pinar and Dan Clayt, amongst others. Now, in July 1997, he took over as coach at Mami Lodi Sundowns and led the Brazilians to two consecutive PSL titles in 1998 and 1999. Dumitru also managed, amongst others, Orlando Pirates and Manning Rangers with mixed success. He was appointed as manager of the Namibian national team in November 2000 and he rejoined the South African football club Mami Lodi Sundowns and helped his side reach the, their first final of the African Champions League. That was in 2001 and the final was lost to record holders Al Ahli. In June 2003, he returned to Kaiser Chiefs and won back-to-back -back league titles in 2004 and 2005, after which he retired from club coaching. Ted Dumitru had several nicknames, including Master Ted, Mr. Magic, or The Professor because of his approach to the game. Pizzo Musimane is the most successful football coach in South African football history. Now, before Pizzo started his coaching career, he was a former professional football player who played in midfield for teams like Jomo Cosmos, Mamelodi Sundowns, as well as Orlando Pirates during the 1980s. Musimane is one of the longest saving and highly rated coaches in South African football having won several major trophies with the Super Sport United that was between 2001 and 2007. He then served as caretaker coach for South African national team Bafana Bafana for seven games in 2007 before Carlos Alberto Pereira was appointed as head coach. 
He also then served as an assistant coach to Joel Santana who replaced Carlos Alberto Pereira and they guided South Africa in the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Now on July the 15th 2010, Peter Musimane was named as the new head coach of South Africa. He had been an assistant to former coach Carlos Alberto Pereira and Joel Santana. He won his first game in charge in a 1-0 win over World Cup quarter-finalist Ghana. South Africa then failed to qualify for the 2012 African Cup of Nations after Musimane mistakenly played for a draw in the, quarter in the final qualifier when in fact a victory was required and that led to his sacking in 2012. He then took over South African giant Mamilodi Sundowns that is in 2012. Pizzo Musimane went on to win the 2016 CAF Champions League with Mamilodi Sundowns after defeating Egyptian side Zamalek 3-1 on aggregate. That is making them the second South African side to win the CAF Champions League after Orlando Pirates won it in 1995. Now in December 2016, Musimane was ranked as the 10th best coach in the world. That was according to International Federation of Football History and Statistics. On the 5th of January 2017, Musimane won the Coach of the Year accolade at the 2016 Glow Calf Awards in Abuja, that is Nigeria, after guiding Mamilodi Sundowns to League Glory in 2015-16 and claiming the Telcom Knockout Trophy, which meant that Musimane stood alone as the only coach to have made a clean sweep of all domestic trophies in PSL era. Thank you for watching this video until the end guys and please don't forget to share this video and like it and those who are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't ever miss out on Football Navigator's latest content.